welcome to Anselm Griffith's Vocation Series in YouTube tutorials for MATLAB. Today we're back to a statistics problem. We're looking at confidence and prediction bounds for a linear regression set of data. So I assume for this, you know what linear regression is and you know what confidence and prediction bounds are. I'm just going to run through it, how you would do it in MATLAB. Now I have the code there if you wish to see it. But it's easier to read uh, when it's published because I can zoom in on the text. So I'm just going to leave that up there for a little bit. Scroll down a little bit more just to make sure that everything is OK. And I'm going to run through it then in the published version of it, if that's OK. So I have it published. So. And I just start there and start the program. So we load actions, which is a predetermined data set. And my X is going to be the highway data, all the rows in column 14. So I'm going to take column 14 as the population of the states. And I'm going to take Y as column 4 as the accents per state. So we think that the accents uh, would be dependent on the population of the states. Here we do a plot, X and Y, and, and the marker is blue and X. So just have a little look there. So obviously you have the whole thing done, but uh, we're, we're plotting X, Y, and we're using a marker of blue Xs. This line here, we're doing a polyfit. We're doing a, a multiple regression of order one, and a multiple regression of order one is a linear regression. So we have two outputs here. Uh, the struct S and P itself. And then the next line is we use polyconf uh, using the P from the polyfit, the X and the S from po uh, the polyfit as well. So this P and this S are from there and the X is from there. I know I've upper and lower, but you know where I'm going with that. And the pre that when you do the polyconf, you get a 95% for their plus or minus to it's predetermined. Because in most papers that you write, or most conference papers or peer reviewed journals, they usually go for the 95% confidence interval. So we get there the polyconf, and you can say then. The predetermined optional, the predopt, and it's I've put in curve. It's to compute the confidence of the fit evaluation of the curve. So I'm doing it for the present values. You could change it to observation, and that would be to predict intervals, prediction intervals for newer uh, values of x. But we're just doing it for the current values of x. So there, that's the line x y fit color so remember y fit would be the the, pre, the predicted values of y and i'm putting them in color is red so i get my that's what my predicted values of y remember the blue x's are the observed values of y my delta down here So I'm pre getting my line y fit minus delta y. So my y fit is red. My delta y would be the lower bound. It starts to diverge, obviously, as, the as you go along, because most of the points are down here. So you get fairly tight certainty on here and fairly low stuff out there. And then I, with a bit of jigging around, I got an indicator there for lower bound to get the upper bound as a line fit x y fit plus delta y that's where i am at the moment and i got where the arrow is where the mouse is now i got my upper bound little pointer i put in my x label i put in my y label and i put in a title 
Okay, hope that helps. Thanks very much for listening. Bye.